Introduction and Navigation. Welcome to the Cross Video Manual. Korg is famous for creating incredible workstation keyboards used by tens of thousands of professionals around the world to perform and create music. Your Cross Music Workstation is an instrument designed to help you perform and create music by bringing together innovative, intuitive features and professional sound quality specifically designed for ease of use. A music workstation should make it easy to perform and create music. The Cross is exactly that type of musical instrument. This video manual is divided into five chapters with a total time of approximately one hour. In those five chapters, we'll cover the main functions of your cross. There's a lot to cover, so each exercise will be brief, but it should be enough to get you started. For more detailed information, there are cross PDF manuals available on Korg.com, as well as your Korg Distributors website that can help you dig deeper. We recommend that you follow the chapters sequentially all the way through the first time, pausing when necessary. Then, later, go back to specific chapters. Also, if possible, have an SD card ready for saving and loading cross data, as well as doing the exercises showing the audio recording functions. The exercises in the audio recording section also require a dynamic microphone with a quarter inch jack. Okay, before we get started, let's restart the cross so we'll both be in the same place from the beginning. Reach around to the left rear and hold down the power switch for a few seconds to turn it off. Then press and hold the switch until the display lights up to turn it on. By the way, if the cross is left on but hasn't been touched for a preset amount of time, the instrument will automatically shut off. The default setting is approximately 4 hours. If the function is enabled, the current time duration will be shown briefly on the display after startup. The time duration can be changed or this function completely disabled in global media mode. Let's look at the front panel from left to right. The pitch bend wheel, which always returns to the middle when you release it. The modulation wheel. This doesn't return to any position when released. For now, make sure it is in the back position. Switches 1 and 2 used for controlling different parameters of the sound. The battery compartment. On the 61 key version, the battery compartment is located on the bottom panel. The cross can run for up to four hours, using six AA batteries, allowing complete portability. Check the PDF manuals for important instructions. The volume knob, the sound selector dials, the four mode buttons, program, combination, sequencer, and global media. These two switches are used for quickly layering or splitting sounds. This instantly mutes and unmutes the master effects. This audio in button turns on and off the external input, such as a microphone. These two buttons are for setting up and controlling the audio recorder. The display shows the sounds of the cross, as well as parameters and settings that specify how the cross will operate. These function, page plus, minus, and menu buttons are used to move between pages and tabs in the display, view a list of functions in each page, or to execute an operation. To the right of the display are the cursor up, down, left, and right buttons to navigate the cursor on the display. The value dial, the enter button, and the exit button. Holding down the exit button and turning the value dial will adjust the contrast of the display. The production tool section where you can turn on and off the drum track and arpeggiator. This section also includes the step sequencer where you can use buttons 1 through 16 to quickly create looping drum patterns. The setup button and beside it the run button used to create and control the pattern. When the Favorites button is pressed, buttons 1 through 16 access your favorite sounds and audio songs for quick access. This bank button gives you access to four banks of 16 favorites, A, B, C, and D, for a total of 64 favorites. The Sequencer Transport buttons, Play Stop, Record, Locate, Fast Forward, Rewind, and Pause. 
the tempo knob, and the convenient tap tempo button that allows you to set the tempo by tapping. Let's look at the rear panel from right to left. The power supply jack. It's a good idea to hook the power cord here so it isn't accidentally pulled out. The power button. The left and right outputs. Here you can connect a microphone, and here you can connect an audio player. MIDI in and out. This is where you connect an optional expression pedal and switch. If you have a damper pedal, connect it here. By the way, I'm using the 88 key cross. On the 61 key version, the MIDI and pedal jacks are located on the far left side. The rear panel also has a USB port for directly connecting to a computer to send and receive MIDI information, and an SD card slot for recording audio plus saving and loading data using an optional SD card. In the front left of the cross, you'll find the 8th inch headphone jack. 